welcome to All Things LGBTQ Plus Youth, Youth Edition. Edition. Today is June 17th, and my name is Chilka Serta. I use she, her, they, them, whatever pronouns. To my right is... I'm Naven. I use he, him pronouns. And before we start... Okay. <laughs> I Go would... ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Anyways, I would like to um, say a quick disclaimer. Um, I was on another episode about aromanticism and asexuality. And at the time I identified as Aero Ace because I had a lot of internalized um, transphobia and biphobia and um, which caused me to just like suppress everything and try not to think about it. And it was easier to just identify as Aero Ace. But now I'm here and I would like to say, hello, I'm a bisexual. <laughs> hello, I'm a bisexual. It's <laughs> a great start. Yes. <laughs> kind of leads into what we're talking about. It's not like I said that. It's almost like I planned that. It's almost like you planned that. It's almost like this was planned beforehand. <laughs> we're going to be talking about bisexuality and a little bit of pansexuality and kind of the two together. And we're going to chat about that. Lovely. Maven, as he said, is bi. <laughs> Who knows what I am? I flip flop from day to day. It's, I, I've been saying bi for the past few months. I said pan for the few months before that. And when I first came out, I said bi. So who knows? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's define them. You're okay. Gonna define, you're going to define bi. Okay? okay. Do it. Go. So <laughs> bisexuality, um, despite the prefix bi, which does technically mean to, <laughs> I over over time, it has evolved to mean um, a, like attraction to more than two genders or attraction to your own gender or other genders. Okay. Anyways. Yes. Um, pansexuality. Um, from what I can tell about pansexuality, it is attraction to all genders or attraction regardless of gender. Those are the two that I hear used the most because they're words. No one can t agree on what words mean, especially in the LGBTQ plus community. Anyways. Yeah, anyways, side tangent. <laughs> Facts. Um, so, yeah, the words mean different things for everyone. Bisexuality could mean a different thing for Naven than it does mean for me. I don't think it does, but that's just an example. <laughs> and I, I want to hear you rant, essentially. What are the misconceptions about bisexuality? I know you can talk for hours. Yeah. So do it. We have an hour. Go. <laughs> so um, what I mentioned while defining is that a lot of people think bisexuality only means two, um, which is just really just incorrect. Um, <laughs> You're wrong. So since um, at least 1990, there, well, so in 1990, there was this um, publication release called the Bisexual Manifesto, which was basically bisexual people being like, hey, can you please stop defining our sexuality for us? <laughs> Thank you. And um, in the Bisexual Manifesto, um, I can't remember the direct quote, but paraphrasing it, it's like, um, you shouldn't assume that bisexuality is binary that, or that it enforces a binary, and you shouldn't assume gender is binary. So for at least 30 years, of, like officially, I guess you could say, um, bisexuality has included non-binary people. So officially? It's a, bisexual, it's a group of bisexuals sitting down in a meeting <laughs> and saying all of this. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I was apparently not invited to this meeting. I don't know what else to say besides officially, but um, I don't know. It's, it's a very important publication. Yeah, so that's one misconception, is that it only means two genders, which... Doesn't the Latin root bi mean two, whereas the Latin root for pan or Greek? It might, Latin and Greek are the same language. I think it's, I think it's Greek. <laughs> um, all, doesn't that pan means all and bi means two? Yeah, and like, while like Latin roots are important. You um, just think they were Greek. The roots of words are important, um, but it is. Um, obviously common for words meanings to change it just like language naturally evolves like that are you more misconceptions or just that more one misconceptions um you just want threesomes <laughs> that's for every sexuality like for bi and pin that's kind of like the commonality is that everyone just thinks you want to have sex with everyone yeah it's fun Love that. Yeah. Love ace pan people just being like, what are you talking about? 
Yeah, I, um, so I think I'm just going to stick to um, misconcep misconceptions related to pan versus bi or like in that range, if that makes that sense. That is the episode topic, so go yeah. ahead. Yeah, so, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> whoa. An <laughs> <laughs> Another thing is that, um, um, so pansexuality is a more recent term and has been used um, been used more mainstream recently, and um, a lot of people advertise it or talk about it as if it's a more politically correct version of bisexual. I hate the term politically correct. <laughs> I hate it so much. Continue. <laughs> um, so people advertise it as a more politically correct version of bisexual because pan means all genders and bi people, oh, bi means two, so they're only attracted to two genders, the bigots. And, um, You're a homophobe. I'm literally bi. <laughs> and peop yeah, people just um, by saying that pansexuality includes like, um, so bisexuality t could technically include all genders, um, which also okay. So which could also I'm just making a face. Okay. So um, so bisexuality could technically include all genders, which is. Um, point I made earlier when we were talking about this earlier is that um, by so gender and attraction and genders you're attracted to it's kind of complicated when you're attracted to more than one gender right yes <laughs> I feel like you're asking me to say yes yes I am okay cool okay. I'll say yes thank you you're and, welcome. <laughs> and um, so because gender presentation is a spectrum and um, like, it's just you can't tell someone's gender just by looking at them. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, there's just something about being attracted. So bisexual, oh man, I'm not doing a great job of explaining this, but anyways. I'm a little confused, yeah. but like, keep talking. I'll get there eventually. I'm sure you will. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay, so bisexuality. <laughs> Let's use me in as, as an example, because I'm here. Yes. Yes. Bye, man. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You're um, fine. So I'm attracted to um, girls and boys. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Off to a great start. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm following you. Continue. Yeah. But I'm also, when I am attracted to girls, like while I am sometimes attracted to feminine girls, generally it's more I'm attracted to masculine girls. Not always, but sometimes. So, and generally I'm more attracted So you're attracted to masculinity? Yeah, generally more attracted to masculinity and masculine people. Okay. So, non-binary genders. Yes. So you can't tell if someone's This is where the confusion comes in. This is where the confusion comes in. Yes. So you can't tell if someone's non-binary just by looking at them. That's true. That's true. So, when it comes to attraction for me, I would more likely be attracted to a masculine non-binary, a masculine presenting non-binary person. Yes. But they're still non-binary. So I'm not attracted to them as a male, I'm attracted to them as a non-binary person. But I'm... Okay. So I can't really be... So my point is you can't really be attracted to specific genders, but you can be attracted to specific gender presentations. If that makes sense? Yes. That does make sense. What the heck? <laughs> we know. Holy crap. Wait. That does make sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So... But... Yeah. Could you be attracted to both present like masculine and feminine people yes and isn't that what bisexuality is or what people think bisexuality is mm. I'm, i feel i'm i'm gonna <laughs> say things that i might not agree with okay. just to keep the conversation Go flowing yeah okay wouldn't that be what bi bisexuality is attraction to masculine and feminine yeah yeah so like that's where it gets into like it means different things for different people so like for example let's take a hypothetical bisexual person let's say they're not generally they're not attracted to like androgyny if that makes sense. So like button ups? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so if they're like generally not attracted to androgyny, but they're like strongly attracted to masculine and feminine people, or like ma male presenting and male presenting and female you could presenting. Say yeah. and feminine. That makes sense. Yeah. I and don't know. Then what? It, then it's just like. Th that's. I feel like this is where the term pan can kind of get like, will kind of be like hey, there's this thing called pansexuality because it's so confusing. Why not just say everyone? I don't know, everyone. Yeah, that's the thing. And um, that's so what I did for like years. How so, old am I? For like two years. Sorry. Rad. 
anyways. Rad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's where like pansexuality. Yeah, so that's in. where pansexuality comes in. But the problem with that is bisexuality could mean attraction to all genders or like all gender presentations, which is kind of what it means for me. Like it's for me, it's not an equal. Yeah, ways. you have a preference. I have a preference. But you can be attracted to feminine people. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what that was. So that's where it kind of that's that's why because if you were only attracted to masculine people and only masculine people, you would just call yourself gay. Probably. But since you can, I mean, I mean. It, it's a little complicated there, because, like, if I'm attracted to, like... So, like, when I say masculinity, I mean, like, if a wom- wo- women... If a woman were to wear... If a woman. If a woman. If a, if a, woman, <laughs> if a woman were to wear... Like, a suit or something, I... That's so hot. I'm sorry. I would think that... I'm like, so I, sorry. I, I might think that's attractive. Because it is! <laughs> I'm sorry. But, like, I'm still like, okay, but that person's a woman. Woman. The word is woman. <laughs> I'd still be like, that person's a woman. I'm still, a, and I'm still acknowledging their gender, but it's just they're like Wearing dressing. A suit and they're yeah. attractive. Yeah, but like, um, like a gay man might not find that attractive because he's attracted to men. It's, it's confusing. It's confusing. Yes. And that is. was a long way to get to a point that I'm not really sure I made. I'm not but sure what point you're making, to be quite honest. Where am I? You're not sure either. No. We're off to a great start. Yep. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> let me try to recap this yes. a little bit. <laughs> Bisexuality or, no, attraction, you, c- is, you think, is based on gender expression, not actual gender. I think when it comes to attraction to multiple genders, yes, but... <laughs> what are you saying? I... You don't know either. No, I sort of know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, sort just, of I'm, not, I'm just not good at articulating it. Okay, no. So I Keep think going. when it comes to attraction to multiple genders, um, it like you might be able to go more off of um, gender expression, or at least that's how it is for me. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to attraction to like one gender, like let's say I was just like a straight up gay man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's just say I was okay. a gay man and I only liked men. Yeah. As gay men do. As they do, yes, that's what a gay man does. So I would. He likes men. So I might not. I, so I might not find, for example, a woman in a suit attractive because. But she, since you're bi, you can. Yes, but since I'm bi, but let's say I'm hypothetically gay. Let's say I wouldn't. I might not find a woman in a suit attractive because that she's a woman. But, like I'm. Yeah. Okay. No, that's I that's I, that. I'm gonna stop that point right there because I don't know where I was about to go. Fair enough. <laughs> That's what we should all do. Yeah. Okay, I think I get where you're coming from, though. Is yeah. Is that when it's more than one gender, it's sort of more a gender expression thing. Yeah, at least for me. That's how I look at it. And it also gets more, and again, that's where it's like it's different for each person. Mm-hmm. And, and it gets more complicated. You said pansexuality is more of a politically correct thing. Mm-hmm. Makes me cringe. Sorry, or buddy. people consider it more politically correct, and pansexuality is more new, do you think it's more, it's been popularized because of the internet? So I'm going to start with the first part of that question, which is, is it more politically correct? Or um, it's considered. Or is it considered? I think some people hear all and think it's more inclusive and then jump to it's more politically correct and then, or not, they might not jump to pansexual, pansexual is more politically correct, but they look at bi and they're like, oh, only two, isn't that a little exclusive or something you're, like that? You're continuing the gender binary. Yes, yes, upholding the gender binary. I've heard that so much. Um, on the internet? On the internet, yes. On the internet. Ne- we never, love the in internet. Pers- never in person, partially because no one's going to harass a 15 year old. I'll harass you. <laughs> Thanks, I'll harass a 15 year old. You're um, welcome. So, um, is it more politically correct? Um, I've seen a lot of. Um, okay, I was gonna say I've seen a lot of cis people saying that. <laughs> they're saying that because they're like, oh, I, I find a, I've, I've, I've found a trans person attractive before. That's not that's trans. The best. That's kind of trans. Because totally. trans man is still a man. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. If that's not the best. Yeah. No. So it's like some people will consider pansexual to be, um, oh, I'm attracted to men and women and trans men and trans women and non-binary people, and. 
See, if I think if you, sorry, I interrupted you. Okay. <laughs> I did that a lot. It's okay. If they had just said men, women, and non-binary people, that yeah. wouldn't be that wouldn't be a problem. But since they're like separating trans men <coughs> from <coughs> cis men, yeah, and like they're both just men, that's a problem. And same with things with trans women, obviously, that's a problem. And it's honestly kind of icky and gross. Icky. Icky. It's icky. It's icky. Yeah. That's so cute. It's icky. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, like, I wouldn't want to date someone who's like, oh, yeah, I date, um, like, like, let's say it's a gay man who I might be interested in. I, in. I wouldn't want to date him if he was like, oh, I date cis men and trans men, because that would be weird. Because, like, he's looking at me and not seeing me as... A, you. Yeah, as, like, me or as a man or something like that. It's because you're a boy. Cause, well, yeah. It's because you're 15 and you're Cause a child. Because I'm 15. But, like, you if, say the word icky. <laughs> But like if I was an adult, or if he was like, oh yeah, I date boys and trans boys, that would be weird. Yeah, because they're separating. Yeah. But, what is, is it, it, has it been popularized through the internet, the term pansexual? Do you, like, what's the word? Attribute. Attribute its popularity. Attribute, attribute, attribute. Attribute, I think. Anyways. Are they different words? I don't know. I think attribute has to do with features. I don't know. Attribute. Do you attribute <laughs> the popularity of the term b pansexual to the internet? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, now you can explain. Yeah, um... I... <clears throat> I feel like, um... <laughs> I'm mocking your cup, I'm sorry. Continue. It's okay. Continue. I don't know if I'm... Mm. Oh, man. Mm. That's hard. Tough question, huh? That's hard, because, like, I like I don't know, because I wasn't really, like, aware of the term when it started to gain more traction and become popular, so I can't really Do say... you know when it did? No. Like, when it started to? No. It, it was definitely a thing um, after, like, when I started questioning my sexuality. To be fair, that was, like, how many years ago? Three. Exactly, we're children. Yeah. <laughs> this is a youth show. <laughs> we're children. Yeah, so I don't know whether or not, like, I can't rightfully say whether or not it was popularized. Mm -hmm. um, I've def definitely a majority of the people I've seen identify as pansexual have been online, though. Do you think the majority of people identifying as pansexual are younger? Yes. Just because bias has been around for longer? Is that why? Just because people growing up who are older and will question their sexuality found that term first. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Do you think there are a lot of bi people who would identify as pan if they knew the term when they were questioning? Uh, I'm like hitting you with these questions. So here's the... Here's the tea. <laughs> here's the thing, I, um... Again, I can't like stay yet, I can't rightfully answer these questions I don't know, but, um... I have seen a lot can of guess. I can guess. Yeah. I have seen a lot of um, adult bi people be like, you know, pansexual might be a more accurate term because term for me because I am attracted to non-binary people. But mm -hmm. again, it's like bisexuality does include non-binary people. So I think it's just like misinterpretation of the term pansexual. Mm -hmm. I real I wish there was just like a definition for these words. Just like one definition. That would be cool. That no one can like argue with. Like, just the one yeah. definition. That'd yeah. be so much better. And then, okay, we talked a little bit about the internet. Yeah. And I have a term that I'm going to bring up for you. I know it's going to uh, be. You know what term this is because this was planned. <laughs> the internet has popularized a lot of these newer terms that are coming out that a lot of people are using nowadays. One of them is polysexual. You knew what was happening. Yeah. How can you define polysexual real quick and yes. then you can rant? So polysexual is attraction to multiple genders, but not all genders. So some, so some people see it as like an in-between between bisexual and pansexual and polysexual is right in the middle. Because bi, for people who... Means to! Obviously. No, but people who define polysexuality, polysexual as something different, usually define bi as two and pan as all. And as we've established, bi is not two. So poly, sexual, not amorous. So poly we already did the polyamorous episode. Yeah. From now on, when we say poly, we mean polysexual. Yes. So poly, attraction to multiple but not all genders. 
Is that different from bi? No. Why? That's just my opinion. So <laughs> go into it. Go this into is it. a so, show for opinions. So um, as we eventually got to before. Um, I don't know what we got to before. Um, so attraction to multiple genders can, since you can't tell if someone's not. So polysexual is um, a term invented from what I can tell is if you're attracted to some non-binary genders, but not all. How many non-binary genders are there? I don't know. So that's a whole other thing. So we'll talk about that later. So let's say I'm just going to use you can use me as an example if you want. You as an example? Knock okay. yourself out. Okay, let's say you are a polysexual individual. Polysexual. God, I hate this retainer. Anyways, <laughs> so let's say you're attracted to um, men, women, agender. Agen agender people, and demi boys. I don't know. Something okay. like that. Terms. Got terms. It. Just yeah. terms. Got it. So, um, okay. First off, can you tell if someone's agender by looking at them? No. Exactly. So already there's problems. See, I don't know. You look at that. Yeah. If you say you identify as agender, I can't look at you and be like. Exactly. Right. Agender, because that's just not how that works. Yeah, that's not how that works. So that's like the that's yeah. that's my personal problem with polysexuals. Um, you can't tell someone's gender by looking at them, so you can't t say you're attracted to multiple but not all genders. Um, and. It's not, and it's also not different from bi because like, bi is attraction to two or more genders or your own gender mm -hmm. and other genders, which could include some, but not all, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So do you think there's a need for a term other than bisexual? Do you think it should all just be clumped into bisexual? Or do you think poly and like omni should be clumped into bisexual and pan exists over there? Or do you think pan and bi should just be merged? I think, um, uh, that's a hard question. I think, um, a lot I'm of people- you with those hard questions. Yeah. <laughs> I think, um, a lot of people find pan to be a more comfortable label. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really go into this a lot, but a lot of people who identify as pan um, ignore bisexuality's history and the fact that it has historically included non-binary people. Mm -hmm. And I, obviously that's not good. They're just like ignoring a big part of this sexuality in this community's history in order to promote a more politically correct term. Not all, not all pan people are like this, not even a majority of pan people are like this yeah. from what I can tell. But I have seen that before, and it's it's kind of gross, honestly. Um, so back to the question: Do I <laughs> do I so? Um, and it's the same with other terms: is that um, people identify with them because they don't. I, it it just seems like they don't have like a real understanding of bisexuality. Mm -hmm. So do I think um, they should be grouped together? Do you think the other terms are even necessary? Do I think they're necessary? Yes or no. Yes and no. What does that mean? I'm, well, I'm about to get into that. We'll do it then. So glad you asked. So um, glad you asked. So um, I think that um, I think that pan, using the definition attraction regardless of gender, which would be gender doesn't really factor into your attraction. See, I know that's your favorite definition of pan. Not your favorite, but that's the one you're like chill with. That's the one I'm okay with because it's different from what could fall under bisexual, in my opinion. Reminder, this is all my opinion. Um, reminder, Siri said a reminder. <laughs> this is all me from the kitchen. So I think that um, pan could potentially be a term under a greater umbrella of bi, if that makes sense. So kind of like how trans is an umbrella term, you kind of want bi to be an umbrella term. Yeah, and like a lot of other people look at it like that. Um, Anyways, a lot of other people look at it like that, but I think polysexual is um, just, saying it's bi. just saying it's bi, and it also doesn't make sense as we established. You can't be specifically attracted to non a non-binary gender. I'm only attracted to agender people. Yeah, exactly. Like you can't do that. Like watch me. Okay, um, <laughs> like that. So that wouldn't make sense. And also, and um, 
Omnisexual, which is another term. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Do I have to Google it? Uh, no, I don't think you're... I, it's like attraction to all genders, but... I think it's just attraction. So, okay. I think it's just attraction. Okay, so just th these quick four terms that we've had. Bisexual attraction to two or more genders. Pansexual attraction regardless of gender. Polysexual attract attraction to multiple but not all genders. So omni is attraction to all genders. And what? pan is attraction regardless of gender. What? Yeah. What? Um, I'm Googling it. This go, is a professional. Go for it. That That's, <laughs> um, it's either like... Attraction to all genders or attraction <laughs> to all gen- It's either attraction to all genders or it's pansexual, but you factor gender in, which- What? Um, I don't know, honestly. Pansexuals can be called gender blind. They do not see or think about gender, whereas omni people, however, notice the person's gender, they recognize it, and are still attracted to all genders. They're the same thing. I'm learning. <laughs> so a lot of, yeah, so a lot of people, um, oh man. That, what? There's so many terms now that I can't keep track of them. <laughs> like, I try, but what? So back to the question. Yeah, what was the question? <laughs> the question was, do I think, um, do I think they're all necessary or whatever? Yeah. So I think that, um, bi and pan, pan, if you define it as attraction regardless of gender, I think, like, yeah, that's an okay ter term to have, as long as pan people aren't just blatantly ignoring bisexuals' history. Yes. So you think pan and bi? Pan and bi. Omni, if someone's more comfortable... Uh, omni is just a big question mark. Uh, if someone's more comfortable identifying with omni than pan or bi, then go for it, and I you know guess. what the prefix means? Uh, I think it's also all. Like omnipresent or something, I don't know. Okay. Something like that. Um, cool. And then poly you just sexual. Think bi. I just think is bi. Okay. Yeah. So really, what I'm taking away is that poly and bi, same thing, and that omni and pan are essentially just like the same thing. Kinda, yeah. Kinda. That's what I'm learning. Yeah. And, and like, it's also like whoever wants to use whatever terms is fine, as long as you're not like identifying it identifying with it for a transphobic reason, like for example, pansexual because you separate trans people and cis people, mm -hmm. and um, not ignoring bisexuality's history, for example, identifying as like pansexual because it includes non-binary genders, even though bisexual, bisexual has included non-binary genders in the past and for a very long time. So I, I mean, it kind of comes down to whatever term people prefer. Yeah, what's more comfy? What, what's more comfy? Because I know as I've stated, I kind of flip-flopped for a really long time yeah. about what I identified as. And for a while, I was like, bye. Because I was like, I don't know, this girl's pretty, <laughs> this guy's pretty, bye. Um, and then I kind of flipped to pan, and I stuck with pan for a really long time. Because it was just like, all. Oh. Well, that's like what I had in my brain, it's just all. Oh. And I yeah. was like, it's just anyone. I don't have standards. Literally anyone. <laughs> and then I kind of switched to like queer a little bit, or I was just like, I don't know. Yeah. Queer. I'm not straight. I can tell you that much. <laughs> and now I'm sort of kind of flipping back to bi, because I'm like, the flag is pretty. <laughs> Literally, that's my reasoning, is that I can't tell a difference, and I think the flag's prettier. <laughs> Fight me. That's what I love. It's a pretty flag. It is a pretty flag. Yeah. yeah. It's so pretty. Do you know yeah. what the colors mean? The colors. Because I had a... I think I'm wrong about the colors, because what I thought was it's like blue, pink, and purple in the middle, right? Uh, pink's on top, yeah. <laughs> Fine. Pink, blue, purple in the middle. Yeah. I always thought that blue is for, like, boy. <laughs> pink is for, like, girl. We love gendered colors. <laughs> and then purple was for, like, anywhere else. So, um... Am well, I wrong? <laughs> I think so. I think so, great. Yeah, so I think I... Googled it right before we started filming. Google. And, um, we love Google. Reliable source. Yeah. So I think yes. <laughs> what it historically meant was, um, so the pink is attraction to the same gender, blue is attraction to other genders, and the overlap is like love for said genders, something like that. Yes? What? What? I, yes? Okay. <laughs> 
Sure. Flag color is good. So confusing. Yeah. And like in the end, the flag doesn't like the flag can. Mean, I know. I just think it's pretty. The flag can mean like different things for different people. Mm-hmm. I guess. Um, and like while like while what I just said um, was what the flag creator I think intended it to mean. It. Um, and the flag was made. No. 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 I think yeah, I'm even supposed to know these things. Gosh. So I think. Um, like the flag can mean like it's just like a representation of the whole bisexual community mm-hmm. so for me at least it re- represents community as a whole and the colors don't really mean all that much it's just like a united like symbol for all of us you know yeah so while like the flag creator did have specific colors meaning specific things for me it's just like a symbol of community mm-hmm. and the colors don't Like, they mean something to me, but, like, it's not really what I think about when I see the flag. Yeah. So did you identify as pan for a while? Yes, I did. What made you switch to bi? I have have a gender preference. Interesting. (laughs) Yeah. I have a gender preference, and since attraction to all... A gender preference or a gender... Or, like, a gender expression preference. Kind of bold. What? Oh boy. <laughs> so we're doing this again. We're, we're doing, doing this. this again. So um, I'm still confused. So I'm a trans guy, right? As far as I'm aware, yes. <laughs> yeah. So there's this thing that bisexual people experience called amplified heterosexuality, which is like compulsive heterosexuality for gay people. Unless what? Means- Okay. A gay man who is heterosexual? <laughs> no, compulsive heterosexuality. So it's like where you basically, basically being straight is the norm. Heteronormativity. Heteronormativity, yeah. Okay, you could have just said that. Yeah, but compulsive heterosexuality is like you're born and you're straight until you say otherwise. Cool. Or, like, you, or like you're supposed to think you're straight or whatever. Heteronormativity. Heteronormativity. Got it. And so for bi people, it's called, it's similar, but it's called amplified heterosexuality, which is like, um, for me. You like repress it. Yeah, you almost like repress your attraction to other genders. <laughs> so. I'm not gonna say I never did that. Yeah. So, um,. I, so I didn't know I was a boy until I was like 11 or 12 or something. I can't remember, maybe 13. Really? Well, I didn't, I wasn't like sure about it. Like I, I knew, we're not, this isn't a trans episode. My point was I thought I was a girl for a very long time. Uh, most Same. of my life. You say I'm one. Yeah. So I thought I was a girl for a very long time and I experienced amplified heterosexuality in the context of me being a girl, which means I was more... Repress the female attraction, up the male attraction. Yes. Got it. So, but now I... Now you're just like, you're like, hey. Yeah, so like now that I know I'm a boy, um, I like know I like boys and I'm pretty sure I have a gender preference for boys and like general expression Why? preference for masculinity. Why? I, cause I like boys anyways. But why? I don't know. Boys are, boys are so nasty. But it's 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 my sexuality. I can't. But boys help it. are so nasty. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so I um, I so I well I do think I have gender preference for mm-hmm. boys. It's hard to tell if it's like an overwhelming preference for boys, or if it's like to the point where you would just be gay. Yeah. Like for a while, I thought I was just gay, but I was like, no, I'm not. So Cause I girls. Because girls. So I can't tell if it's because of amplified heterosexuality I experienced when I thought I was a girl, that I have a preference for boys and mass, but, or I can't tell, I can't tell if it's that or if it's just I do have a preference for boys. And while I do think I have a preference for boys, it's hard to tell if I have a strong preference or not. So my point was, back to, <laughs> back to me identifying as Pan, that was a roller coaster. Um, we love teenagehood. <laughs> we love it. Yeah. So. So me identifying as pan, I stopped identifying as pan um, because I um, did some research about bisexuality's history and I was like, and I listened to like some bisexual people talk about their experiences and I was like, oh wow, this actually does include non-binary genders and stuff. And um, I had had identified as pan because I thought um, like pan meant all and, and included non-binary while bi did not. So I got hit by that politically correctness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, quite yeah. simply, yeah. 
Um, but I stopped identifying as pan because I was like, oh, I have a gender preference. Preference. I have preferences regarding gender expression for my attraction and all that junk. <laughs> and um, I hate the word junk. Junk. It's just it. It's just not what my mind goes to. Anyways, continue. Anyways. So but anyways, we're gonna do so that. Like, so I was like, okay, I have a gender preference. And bisexual has historically included non-binary people and has for even before that. So I was like, there's um, no reason for me to identify as pan because, like, this fits in with bi. Yeah. I'm sorry, I heard a noise. <laughs> so this fits in with bi, so I don't know. I just did a lot of research and I was like, wow, a lot of, like, the reason I identified with pan was, like, not didn't make sense, I yeah. guess. No, that makes sense. You just yeah. kind of were like, no, I'm not. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, that a lot, actually. Yeah, no, it was basically, I'm just, like, I was just like, I'm not attracted to people regardless of gender, so. So did you come out as, like, pan? Or, did, when, like, when you, when you came out for, like, the first time, because we've all come out, like, a few times, for sexuality, did you come out as pan? Or was it gay? Or did you say you were a lesbian? Um, I thought I was all not my coming out is a whole story but um so you i have to go into it if you don't want to no it's okay, okay. No, no like nothing bad happened it's just like weird so um, all coming outs are so um so the context for it is important so like before trans before i came out as trans and after i came out as trans so okay. so i came out to my mom as like i'm bi or pan or something i i didn't wasn't really sure at the time um okay. And that's what I told her. And I've continued to have, like, have discussions with her about it mm -hmm. and stuff. And, and I've kind of kept her a little updated on it, I guess. And then um, coming out to my dad. So before I came out as trans, I told him I was gay. That probably confused your parents. Yeah. So um, I'd be confused. So my parents are separated. So they're not, I know. And they're also not talking about my... Um, they like me dad over tea. And, like, no, they don't. That'd be really funny. That would be weird. I'm sorry, but that'd be hilarious. <laughs> so I feel like if just a bunch of parents just met up at like a coffee shop and just talk about their kids. Yeah. Their gay kids. That'd be funny. Yeah. So that should be a TV show. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So um, coming out to my dad was a whole thing. At the time, I identified as pan. But you said you were gay. But I told him I was gay. Why? Because I thought he would get the message. I don't know. I was I was I was 13 and very dumb. High five, same. Nice. So, I thought he'd get the message. Obviously, he did not. So he brought, and I have not updated Told him, him on anything it. anything else? No, I have Did kind of been? forgotten about it, honestly. And so he probably thinks I just like girls. Because um, it was before I came out as trans. So if I come out as gay before I come out so as you, trans. So he would think you're straight now? Probably. Ew. Anyways, um... Yeah, so... So you came out as uh, pan or bi or whatever to your mom. <laughs> yeah. And then gay to your dad. And then yeah. after you transitioned, did you come out again for a different sexuality? Obviously, you came out for being trans. But did you, were, were, did you like, hey, we're going to re-come out? Because I had to do that a bunch. I had to re-come out, like, every day. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I did not. <laughs> you kind of left it. It's kind of left it, yeah. Like, uh, I, should, I should probably tell him. Probably tell you that you're not straight. Yeah. yeah. I think he probably... To be fair... <laughs> Looks at nails. Yeah, how do you, how do you think he knew? Um, how do you I don't think know. He knew? No, like I'm. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? He'll, that could be the takeaway of the episode. Who knows? Who knows? I should pro I should probably tell him. Just just I to recommend keep, it. Just to keep him updated. So like, if I ever get a boyfriend, he's not super confused. If you ever get a boyfriend. If I ever get a boyfriend. Oh, Nathan. We love high school. We love being teenagers. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I think what I want to do is have each of us. Normally, when there's more than two people, this works better. <laughs> but I just want to both say our takeaways from this episode, and then we can sort of wrap it up. Takeaways. So what do you want anyone watching to be left with? To have the last thought in their brain. Whatever label you choose to use is up to you. But please do research about bisexuality and bisexuality's history before choosing a label that um, that you're either choosing for transphobic reasons or reasons that just ignore bisexual's history because it has a really deep and rich history.
that has included non non-binary people. All right, good takeaway. Yeah, I think my takeaway from this is just really who the hell knows. Who We're all confused. Knows? We don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's be friends. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this has been all things LGBTQ plus. Youth edition. Fingers snap. Youth, Youth edition. edition. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, and we'll see you next month. Bye.